Hello, everyone. Hi. It's Friday Night Live. We're back. I know. We actually are back at this time. I know I say that a lot, but... <laughs> well, it is. It's actually kind of true this time because we have been gone away for a couple of weeks now, I think. Yep. Yes. We were on vacation. Oh, by the way, who are we? I'm Edna. And this is Wolf. And we run the Wolfy Wolf Fine Art Gallery, which you can find at www wolfywolffineart.com and that's where you can go to find lovely paintings and artwork like mm -hmm. what's behind us here and um, we're going to talk a little bit more about that here shortly but we got, um, we got two paintings to talk about today yay! and a little news yeah so we're going to do a little news we're going to show more than one painting in a show which is new for us I think we haven't done that no, if we, we have done that it's no we've focused on one painting per yeah. show to get the most out of it Yay, so we're here, we're back. Um, so, uh, without further ado, let's talk a little bit more about... ZPM. Yes, which really stands for Zero Point Module. And it's a Stargate reference from the TV show. Total sci-fi nerdy stuff. Mm -hmm. It absolutely is. So for you that folks who are sci-fi nerds, um, yes. If you're just into the science, you should call it Zero Point Energy. Yes. Which is slightly different, a theory that came out about, you know, energy that can be pretty much coming out, maybe like a white hole. Who knows? But let's still... <laughs> well, oh, wow. there are some that think that if everything goes into a black hole, it must go out somewhere. Oh, At least that's the idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. So, yeah. well, there it is. So this is a very lovely abstract, and I have to tell you that... I mean, it's one of his newest pieces, and it actually is one of my favorite pieces of all his new ones. And I'm not just saying that because he's my husband. <laughs> I really do. I mean, not all of his work is my yep. favorite, and this one really yep. was. Some she just was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's and right. like, oh, my God, this is great. <laughs> yes, there's some things that I'm just like, oh, I love that. So, yes, I do love this piece. I, I It's just the colors. Um, I think it's also kind of how it has very fractal nature to it. Um, I think that's a good word for it because of oh, all yes. of this. Actually, that is okay. one of the things that connect the two paintings besides being watercolors and Which two me. paintings? This one and the one oh, we haven't the done other yet. Oh, the other two, has yes. a fractal piece in it also. So, there, yes, so there it is. Uh, so this was... ZPM. This was originally inspired um, by Zero Point Energy of things coming out of a center point flowing out in this mad crazy rush and as I got into the painting and thinking about it that's when ZPM came up which as we said earlier is a Stargate reference. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, a, it's an here. SG-1 and also Stargate Atlantis. So um, just so that you you know and I yeah, which ones it's really a big deal in Stargate Atlantis to actually yeah, become a show. Bad. You know, it's a battery. It's a crystal battery is what it is. But I love this this painting. And actually, that's not the first thing I thought of when I saw it. I just thought it was just, it, it, yeah, it kind of blew my mind when he finished it. And this is a very new work. So this was done, like, gosh. Sometime uh, earlier this year. Uh, it was like the spring, summer. I believe so. Yes, yeah, so this is very new. Um, and this is part of the new work that we've just released on the Wolfie Wolf Fine Art Gallery, which is, as I said, at www.wolfiewolffineart.com. And that's where you can find this. And it is available, the original, which I believe is a, four, a 20 by 14 yep. inch. It's a watercolor. It is on archival watercolor paper. It's, I think, textured mm -hmm. as well. And so, and it is available. And it... I think I what I want of it is a giant print. I'm going to get a giant metal print of yes, this, Yes, it'll look great in the metal print. Oh, my God. I can't. Yes. Going back to the painting, this All one right. I actually did in one night. It was one of my, you know, late at night, sit down, don't know what I quite want to do. Single but session. Single session. I actually was thinking of how one artist I saw on Instagram does a lot of their work, but I didn't have the right colors for it, and it what started coming out was completely different from that and this is what emerged i love the sort of the neapolitan what what how do you describe those colors it's it's i wouldn't i would say i don't know um they're very neapolitan. 70s and 60s he calls yes. it neapolitan which i look at as like you know mm, that's right. an ice cream yeah, and that's chocolate strawberry and vanilla for I'm, those of I'm you who of are another word, uh, wondering what that is <laughs> but, um yes and so it's not coming to me right now 
Can we hear myself? I hope I can. I just realized, oh, oops, I had the, the volume down on one of them. So I hope everyone could still hear me, but it's possible you might not have. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. Sorry about that. Well, this is zero. This zero is p.m. Zero. PM for those of you on Facebook who couldn't hear. Um, uh, 14 by 20 watercolor on paper. It is available. But uh, yes. All right, should we move on to the next painting? Yes, so we're going to move on to the next painting, something new, um, which means while I'm. While I'm hanging it, she's here. I'm going to talk about other things that's mm -hmm. going to be happening soon. So, what's happening next? Here. So we have a few things coming up. We're going to do a calendar again. It's going to be a little different than the one we did last time. And so just stay tuned for that. Okay. Um, also, as you can see, we are showing new work because Woofie has a bunch of new work that he has completed in 2021. So you want to stay tuned for us showing you new work. And oh, look at this. This one's bigger too. Oh, yep. This one's bigger. This is a bigger painting um, that he's hanging right now behind us. And you also get to see how what happens behind the scenes a little right now. So those are two things that are happening. New work and we're going to have new calendars coming out. Oh, the other thing to let you guys know about, which is also happening at sometime at the end of September, early October, is... Uh, Wolfie's Art's going to be showing in the Netherland Public Library. So, um, if you'd like to see some of his work in person and up close. And you're local. And you live here, you or you know, in this area, you can come on up to Netherland or come over to the library, whichever it is, and come check out Wolfie Wolf's artwork. We're going to have, I don't know, about how many pieces? Fifteen. Fifteen pieces of work are going to be hanging there. And so, please do check that out. And again, we'll make the announcement about that. So that's one thing. The other thing I want you to stay tuned for is we will be doing another free art giveaway. So that's going to be happening sometime, I guess, in September. We're going to do September? it. September? All right. I think we're going to do it this month. So yes, yes. So stay tuned for the free art giveaway, um, which, as you know, we, um, we ask you just come sign up at the email and then we do the giveaway. We do it live. We, cho we choose the person um, out of a hat, literally random. So um, stay tuned for free art giveaways. Okay, so on to the next piece of artwork. Mount Fusta. Mount Fusta. That yes. is spelled F-U-S-T-A. <laughs> it's a strange amalgamation of Mount Fuji and Mount Shasta. Shasta being okay. Northern California's largest and strangest uh, volcano, and some even say the chakra of the world. And Fuji, which is... Japan's premier volcano and very lovely symmetrical as this one's portrayed as. But unfortunately, this one has sort of the background. Of well, which chakra of the world is it? Because there's several chakras I, of the world. I don't know. And there's I don't more know, than one. I don't know why a chakra in the world would be at the outside on the corner. I'm just saying, I mean, chakras, interior. you know, don't you have a whole, you have a whole oh, bunch yeah. of chakras. I'm a little familiar with them, so you do. And so, like, chakra of the world, like, it has, it's the chakra. It's just one of the many things that Shasta carries. <laughs> one of the lore. I don't okay. know the details. One of the chakras. And because, you know, they say Hawaii is a heart, it's like where the heart chakra is yep. and stuff. So, I <laughs> know, I'm just giving them a heart. But you gotta make it fun. Oh, of course. So, Mount... Fusta, which Mount is Fusta. we're saying is a combination of Mount Shasta, which is debatably if it's gonna it's a shocker or not, and then Mount Fuji, which is in Japan, Japan. and that is along the Ring of is that in the Ring of Fire? Actually, both they're both in the Ring of they're Fire. They're both in the Ring of Fire. Check that out. Well, I got that right. Again, probably half the volcanoes on Earth are oh, in the Ring of Fire. There, there but... is that. So okay, all right, well. Moving on. The Pacific's an active <laughs> place, you know. Yes. So this is a beautiful one. You did this one this year as this well. This is also a brand new one this year. And this, I went back to an older theme that I haven't explored in the last 10 years, uh, namely the wolf and goat character. Ooh. And they're both totems of mine, goat being both Ooh. my Chinese and Greek astrological sign and wolf just being... My totem animal, so to say. It's a wolfy wolf, you know. Yep. He's a wolfy. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd have these two characters hanging out, and one's meditating on top, in fact, levitating above the volcano. And the other one has his magic carp in the knees, zooming around, having fun. And... Do you call that lemeditating? <laughs> yes, you could. I'm just curious, like he's levitating and he's meditating, meditating. and they rhyme so well. It's like, is it 
I'm a lameditator, you know. So that's what the lamedi the lameditating goat. Yes. <laughs> All right. Cool. And this one's got more classic uh, scenery where you got the depth cues to pull the horizon way back, and the actually we'll go into the lovely lenticular cloud, which we'll find over lots of volcanoes. In the mathematics of fractal numbers, they call these things strange attractors, and why things like lentil, uh, lenticular clouds, which look like big bowls or or UFOs, if like spaceships, yeah, yeah, if you like the saucer versions. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And let's see. So it's mostly well, it's mostly underlying washes with a lot of dry brush on top. In fact, the volcanoes got dry brush cracks made in and also I did the mask Ooh, and speckle yes. technique okay. to give it all kinds of little splotchy yes, it's very cool. feeling and it's also a cross cut uh, which I do occasionally in my paintings just sort of seeing the inside of something because you know if you just look at it from the outside it's just all white and not as interesting it's beautiful it's gorgeous. It's not my favorite one, but I definitely like this one. The colors of this one are really cool. So the sky is it's a big, really bold, strong it's, one, I think. But you, your sky on this one has yeah. a little different, something a little different that I haven't seen you do as much before, which are these smaller brush strokes up here. It's, which actually, it's it seems like it's it's mirroring the water that's behind it. Traditionally, I think. usually do almost all wash in the skies but in this one i put more dry brush, brush lines in to give cool. more current and give a sense of movement and also with a different scale you can yeah. make them look like distance cues so your eye picks up that that one's further away nice. and this is close 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 and this spot. one is a little, this is actually, if you notice, this one's bigger than the last one we just had hanging. Mm -hmm. This one is actually a 24 by 18 inch painting. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's a little bigger. Um, and it's, yeah, currently in, it's um, in one of our frames. So, mm -hmm. yes. I, and this one's also available at wolfiewolffineart.com. And I encourage you to go there if you just want to go and look through the new art. And it actually is a gallery called New Artwork to make it easy. I've actually redid the galleries. So we have a Prince Gallery. We have a Best Sellers Gallery. We have an Original Gallery, which shows just original artwork. And then there is the New Art, which just shows the work that we've been showing over just, I mean, the last, last year couple, or so. Yeah. yeah. The last there might be a so. couple of pieces that weren't done recently, but the reason they're under new art is because they're the first time that we have shown them to you. And so new art doesn't necessarily mean that he's just painted it. Um, it means it's being displayed and for ready, the first time the public display in the new shop. Yes. And also for the public to see. Um, mm -hmm. It means stuff we haven't shown in any galleries, any art shows, um, anything here locally. So, yeah. All right. All right. So I think that about covers everything. Um, do we? I think I've given everyone the news. Um, mm -hmm. Just a reminder: stuff. while you're at the website, please sign up for our newsletter. Yes, definitely go sign up at wolfiewolffineart.com because then you're automatically signed up for our free art giveaway, and also you get the latest on everything, and you hear about the sales before anybody else does. And what makes that more important about an art gallery is we have original pieces, so that means you have access to purchase them on sale before anyone else does, and that when they're gone, they're gone. <laughs> so um, they're one of a kind pieces. So there, also, there's that. Also, the holidays are coming up, and we do have card versions of all yes. of our stuff. We do. And you can get post and puzzles. Puzzles too. Yes, we offer puzzles. They're little puzzles, 250 pieces. An adult probably can do it in four. You know. Three to five hours. Oh, yes. On. We've had the puzzle snobs <laughs> yes. already on real us. People, I mean, there's... Real puzzle people, this is not going to be your thing. Yeah, but... you don't go puzzle policing us over this. You know, it's just they are what they are. We actually don't have a lot of control over the number right now, but that will hopefully change in the future. But at the moment, we don't. <laughs> uh, so they're smaller, but they're super cool. And, you know, the two that we've just shown you, this one and, oh, oh my gosh, uh, ZPM would look so incredibly cool as a puzzle. Oh, our, yes. Our card or our whole set. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Right. I think that's about it for today. Thank you for turning in. Yes. Thank you for watching us because without you guys, we really wouldn't have this. You guys are the ones that really do make this art gallery work. And so thank you again and 
Well, check us out at www.wolfywolffineart.com. Also remember to like us at Instagram, which is wolf wolfie.wolf.art and then there's wolfiewolf.fine.art. So check us out there and then we are known at Facebook as Wolfie Works and it's works with an E. So that's W E R K S. So go check that out on Facebook as well and we will be showing you new art coming up really soon. We have a lot of great pieces that he just painted. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. We love Sign you. Off. Thank you. Mwah. All right. Have a wonderful weekend, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye.